I would like to welcome you all in the fourth part of question paper discussion for the subject electronic principles and circuits. Uh, I request before watching this video, I request you to watch three segment of this video so that three segment of the video series so that you will be getting a better understanding. So, however, this is the last session uh, for this question paper discussion. Moving further, as you can observe, question number nine a explain and working of precision full wave rectifier. Yes, this is one of the most important question. Weightage is eight marks. Okay, how to explain, I will tell you. Precision uh, half wave or full wave rectifier, if you get a question, remember that you can develop this particular circuit using op-amp. Okay, you can use uh, this uh, like uh, operational amplifier. Two op-amp is required. Okay, two op-amp. Uh, here you can see connect accordingly. Okay, all the passive elements you have to connect accordingly. And... Uh, you can explain what will happen during positive and negative half cycle. If it is full wave rectifier, you can draw the waveform also. So you can mention the output, what, what the output, output voltage you are getting. So you can use this formula, gain formula you can use and you can make use of that. Ultimately, you will be uh, able to draw what could be the waveform of a full wave rectifier. Okay, what is the difference between the conventional type rectifier and a precision rectifier? That point also you can uh, mention. Okay, conditions you can explain. Explanation during positive half cycle. Also, you have to explain during the negative half cycle. What will happen? D1 will be forward bias, D2 will be reverse bias when it is actually positive half cycle. Negative half cycle, that will be reversed. Kindly request you to draw this particular circuit diagram very neatly. It, it has the weightage of two marks. If you explain the working, uh, what will happen during positive half cycle, you will be getting another two marks. And uh, ultimately, this derivation that is also having the weightage. Okay, like that you can uh, follow up. Explanation during negative half cycle, you can explain what will happen, direction of current, how it is moving on, uh, what about the diode, D1 will be getting reverse bias, D2 will be forward bias, what could be the output? Output will be 3 by 2V. Okay, so that is the output. You can mention the mathematical formula as well. So this is, these are the points you need to explain about the precision rectifier. All right. Okay. The output waveform also, it is desirable to draw the rectifier now. So you have to mention the output. What will happen during positive uh, uh, input you can mention? What about the output? So these are the points you need to explain about precision rectifier. Hope it is clear. You got an idea. You, you might have received an idea how to present in the examination. Design a low pass filter using operational amplifier at a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz with a pass gain of uh, 2 clear this is a like a one of the application oriented program application oriented problem so question number 9b how to answer this anyway uh, you have to follow up the design steps what are the design steps you have to mention so mention the cutoff frequency uh, then uh, you can use the formula 1 by 2 pi rc f is equal fh is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc select a value of capacitor su substitute over the Identify the value of resistor. Make the resistance as a standard value as 15.8 kilo ohm. Uh, then use the gain formula 1 plus R of by R1. That is equal to 2. From this, uh, what you can do is, uh, you know, R1 and R of will be 10 ohm. Uh, okay. So ultimately, draw the circuit diagram. Mention the circuit diagram. Each step is having the weightage. Remember, don't miss not even single step. Most of the people, what they are doing is, they know the answer. They will be skipping the step. Don't do like that. Try to present as much as neat as you can. Okay. Draw systematically. I think it's more than sufficient. If you draw the circuit diagram, mention the design value. That is 100% sufficient for this particular question. I think it's clear to everyone. Question number 9C. Explain the working of PWM using uh, triple five timer. It's one of the most important uh, questions for all the type of examination. How to generate the PWM using uh, like a triple five timer. Okay, triple five timer. You can make use of triple five timer for the making the PWM. You can uh, mention about the turn on time, turn off time delay by using the value of capacitor RC. Okay, time constant you can adjust. Question number nine: See how to present. I'll be giving you the uh, hint how to present uh, the question number nine uh, uh, C. Kindly note down that first of all you have to mention the IC detail triple five timer IC. It is a most popularly used analog IC in analog in all the type of electronic circuits. Mention what about the VCC output, then uh, tri uh, triggering everything you have to mention RC value that is most important. Do mention the waveform as well. It is having the weightage waveform. You if you draw the waveform, you will get a weightage of two marks. Okay, so uh, what about the modulating uh, signal? Then ultimately. Uh, the superimposing. If you compare this signal, you will be getting the output. So that is actually the PWM signal. PWM. You can adjust like a T on time. T on time you can adjust. Even you can adjust the T of time. So total duty cycle you can adjust. What is duty cycle? T on divided by uh, T on plus uh, T on. Correct. 
like this you can mention this is one of the most important technique in analog electronics for generating the pwm in digital electronics we will be using the microcontroller i i think you can follow me so you present uh, whatever the things you know in a better manner so try to mention how to men how to how you are generating the pwm question number 9 i think 9c is clear okay that is clear i guess yeah now we'll be moving on to explain the functional block diagram of triple five timer ic it is most important as you can see it is repeating actually so please don't leave this question so a triple five timer question number 10a so see so what you can do is uh, you can uh, what is the structure which is inside the ic that you can elaborate using uh, inside what are the components available that you have to illustrate in a proper manner okay so please uh, have a look on this block diagram five marks your explanation carries five marks. So you have to mention what are the major components which are available inside triple five timer. If you search also, you will be getting a better images. Okay, because clarity is a bit poor. So it's a freehand drawing. No? So clarity is a bit poor. So no need to worry. If you search directly, you will be getting. So we require comparator. We require flip-flop. SR, SR flip-flop is uh, placed over there. And we require like a uh, transistor. Okay, so uh, transistor logic is available here. So you can mention about the output. Okay, so these are the major major content which are available uh, inside the IC, which is uh, called a triple five timer. So present well, you can mention about the component details. You have to explain the brief working as well. So these are the major things you need to include in your answer. Question number 10B. What is the question number 10B? Kindly note down, uh, design the monostable triple five timer circuit using 10 seconds uh, uh, second wise. Uh, draw the circuit diagram. Okay, monostable multivibrator. You know about a monostable multivibrator. How to uh, produce a monostable multivibrator using only one state? Now, monostable means only single state. Okay, using the triple five timer, 10B. So, we, we already completed one experiment. I think you are remembering monostable multivibrator. So, here you, you have to follow the design principle. See, for example, look at this uh, RC. So, RC, time constant. This is called a time constant. We call it as tau. So select the capacitor, you can find out the value of resistor. So this value you are supposed to design. Now the design carries two marks. Later draw the diagram of triple five timer. Okay, you have to mention about the width. That is equal to 10 seconds. They already given. Okay, like that you have to proceed for the design. Okay, uh, very simple only. You can fetch the mark very fastly compared to other units. Question number 10C. That is the more that is more than sufficient. These explanations are good enough for writing for exam point of view. Question number 10C, explain this neat diagram, operate R to 2R uh, digital to unlock converter. There are different type of digital to unlock converter. Even I prepared a playlist on uh, like uh, sensors and transducer in my another channel. If you want, I will share the link R to 2R uh, diagram, uh, ladder uh, unlock to digital converter. Okay, D D sorry, DAC. It's a DAC, not a ADC. It's a DAC. Remember that it is one of the important DAC. Okay. There are different type of DAC is available. You please go through that. Don't know what kind of question they are going to ask. So uh, like this, R to 2R, they asked in the last time, but uh, this time I don't know what kind of question they are going to ask. So plan accordingly. Question number C. Uh, here, what you are supposed to do is you have to mention about circuit diagram, brief explanation, which carries uh, 4 plus 4, 8 marks. So these are the major things you can expect for the exam point of view. So in this session, what, what is the major thing which you can understand is triple five timer you have to study, design aspects you have to study, uh, the more, the design of monostable and multistable vibrator, it is better to study. Ultimately, you need to understand about like uh, uh, the, the digital to unlock converter and the vice versa, unlock to digital converter. So these are the major thing you, can, you have to focus uh, in this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. I'm happy to answer back. If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to share this video with your concerned uh, people, those who require this particular topic. Also kindly like, uh, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for your support and uh, uh, have a great day.